Hey YouTube, MCAPS44 here. Um, I'm going to do a shooting video today, so I actually can't even walk through right now, so i got nothing else to do except to finish the test and stuff. But, test that shoot it's on Wednesday, and I'm not saying one bit for it. Um, but, oh well. Um, so, um, yeah, I've got nothing to do, so I can't, up, so I can't um, do walkthroughs right now because I'm super quiet. Because my sister, she's like ailing her assignment, and so she has to get it fixed. And then, um, sorry, um, and my brother, she's getting back to the assistant, so I'm going to go inside, and we'll let you know when we probably at 9.30 and some still trying to fall asleep. I love the quiet. Um, and then my mom's kind of mad and so she's going to go to the quiet. And so that put me down here. And yeah, so I'm doing a shooting video today. I actually lost my good shooting ball. I hate shooting balls. So my first thing is just walk through it. No, I'm not going to do I'm going to do this video a ping pong ball. It's a one star ball. Okay, so I want to see how far that you can see. Ooh, I've got too many at room. Okay. So um what you should do is I'll move up is transfer all your weight to your back foot. Start way back here like this, just lean back. And then flex your stick, I can't flex this because I barely can. An 85 flex, cut down, so it's like 105 flex, I can barely cut it. Um, so yeah, so you want all your weight on your back foot, so I can just stand on my back foot, but I don't need that. All your weight on your back foot, flexing your stick, coming through really slowly, transferring your weight, and following through. So back motion, that. So that's just a good wrist shot, I'll do another one. Start the, at the heel of your stick and then follow through and then so as you follow through it'll be getting higher then it'll leave it and hope you won't flip it like that. You actually want to follow through like that. Um, and that would be weird at first, but yeah. And then, ooh, this is a good one. A soccer pass. So, this is what I've been taught. Um, by one of the best guys in hockey, it, at hockey in the state of Utah, so it's not like I was in Minnesota or somewhere where that would be like the key John and be like some would be good NHL player or something, but so you hold your stick back like this and then you just lift it up like this, so you go like, you know, you kind of like, I'm, I suck at sauces, but um, like that kind of. You want to have spin on the puck. Oh, I'll show sure you how to puck down here. You might not like that to but um, so just like that. Okay. So for snapshot, I well, I guess I'm like gonna come juice the goalie, and then I guess I always do my backhand with snapshot, but I'll never like come up and do a snapshot on like a double leg goalie. I'll do it if I'm playing like on a beam level, just to think like it's a player or something, or if I'm playing, like sometimes I go to the mic for drop and I just mess around with them, and so sometimes I'll like do some move like this in front of the net, and I'll kick it out to my like that, and then I'll do that, but, or I'll just like shoot it like that, and, but I never do that in a real game. Um, <coughs> And so for the snapshot, you just go, you have to think about whacking the puck to like, just, so it's not a wrist shot where you're, where you don't, where, where the stick stays on the puck the whole time. You start it kind of back, and then, um, I don't know if the weight transfer helps. I don't know. I have never done the weight transfer. Or if you're playing like AAA or something, then go ahead and do the weight transfer. Uh, well, if you're playing AAA, you probably don't have to do a good snapshot. 
so you're probably not watching this. Um, and I just, I'm not very good at it. And it's not a flat shot where you bring it back. Like, even, like, even if you bring it, oh my God, I can't see the ball over here. Okay, so you can You don't even want to bring it back like this far. Like, just barely, you don't want to turn it off. I guess if you really wanted to, you could bring it back like way back here. Follow through, but what it's really made for is just to do like a quick toe drag and oh, that looks like crap. Just quick toe drag snap, like that. Um, just made for a quick shot. So for a slap shot, this is actually the most useful tip I've ever learned. So how I used to take my slap shot, I actually learned this when I was a uh, beginning of the first year PV, so about a year ago. Um, I was playing at a A level back then, and so I always so I never take flat shots in games. Most people don't at PV, and so I would always just come back to my stick like this. Um, work sort of, kind of. But that is not how you want to take flat shots. You want to actually learn this from a goalie who's playing the ECHL. Um, don't know how a goalie learns how to take a flat shot, but maybe he just watches people. But so again, you want it on your back foot, um, kind of like straight in front of it, and not like behind it, like you little three shot. So you want to have your stick with the face, yeah, face facing the ground. So the forehand, um, forehand side facing the ground. So then you just want to. Can't keep them this close. So in slow motion, that same weight transfer. Um, I'm gonna get closer probably. Same weight transfer. Bring the stick back. Follow through. Come. I actually like hitting the ground before you hit the puck. Come in. And that one. But hit the ground before the puck so you can flex the stick. Um. I actually don't have any sticks right now. I can show you this. I got a couple of warriors in the garage. I got my old mission, which is broken. Now it's completely broken. And then I got a TPS that I play with for a little while. And then I broke it. I was gonna paste it. Um, and then got a couple of bowels that are broken. And Ethan X17 is broken. Um, and yeah, the rest of the is kind of like this. And so, being you know, I wish I could flex the stick, but you just want to you want to hit the ground before the putt. So, so bring it back, hit the ground, and then so, and then you want to follow through and all like that. You want to when you come through, you want to be like that. You want to. So have you ever seen like those pictures where people want to like? You try to finish a slap shot and he's like, he's like this. That's how you want to finish. Um, it's actually also how you want to finish your wrist shot. You don't want to do a little thing like this. Um, it's a great way to get the puck up. Actually, the best way to get the puck up is to do a toe drag, get it off the toe. So that was a thing. You just get it off the toe. And I've actually done that in the mic sport drop in. I seen but they don't call I seen drop in and so yeah this video was super long, I realized that. Um, okay I gotta study